go take a look at this sign right here. We, we have this sign right here set up. On the uh, left side, you know, on your left side, this is what God called us. On your right side, that's what the nations call us, the so-called white man. So, you you saying you from the uh, tribe of Judah? That's what you're saying? Okay, let's uh, get what the scriptures say about uh, who we are according to the scriptures. Because we lost our, na why do you think we lost our nationality? Do you have any clue, idea, you know? Now help me out. Help. I mean, since we're talking about God, right? So there's got to be a reason why it's looking, looking back to God, God's word. So the reason why we lost our nationality would be what? Because we disobeyed God's word. Y'all give me that, 28:15. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I commend thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right, so y'all listening? So God said uh, through Moses to tell his people that what? Uh, if we don't keep his law, statutes, and commandments, we're going to be a cursed people. We're going to be a cursed nation of people. So, is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? A curse. What's a blessing? A blessing is a good thing, right? So, a curse would be what? Bad thing. So, that's two opposite, you know, it's not the same thing at all, you know. So, uh, let's see Let's see one of the curses, you know, that came on us. Uh, 37, read. Verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment. Right. God said one of the curses, one of the bad things that's going to come on us is we're going to become uh, become an astonishment. An astonishment is a surprise. Right. So when other nations like the so-called white man, Arab, China, China man, when they see us, you know, they look they look at us different. You know, they don't look at, at us like, like we, we're the same people at all. They look at like as a surprise. Look at look at these black people. They don't know what they're doing. You know, they hate each other. You see that thing? They they whore out. You know, they 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 they're women. You see that thing? They they uh they they got a lot of violence in that community. You, you see that thing? So that's an astonishment, read. A proverb. A proverb. What's a proverb? A proverb is a wise saying. You know, for example, uh, what the other nations uh uh take as a proverb to us is, you know, if you want to hide something from a nigga, put it in a book. That's a wise saying. So that's a curse. Read. And a byword. And a byword. So you, our people calling themselves outside of God's given name, our people, you know, call themselves American Black, West Indian, and so on and so forth. That's a byword that God is talking about. You see that thing? So that's a curse. You see that? So now that we showing you the curses of the Bible, the reason why we lost our nationality would be what? From what we read so far. The curse. Bro, what's your name? Tony. So and then you said these are your daughters, right? So I see you brought them out there, out here to, to learn some more. Are you with their well, are you with their mom? You married to her mom? All praise to the most high. Uh, get Deuteronomy chapter uh, is it five and verse six. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. So this is a, a good thing what you're doing here, right? Six and five. Six and five, six and five, my man. Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, and verse 5. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And these words, which I command thee this day, shall be in thine heart. Right, so God is saying you should love him with all your heart, right? And these words should be in your heart. What are the words? The words of the Bible. Verse 7. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. So, Tony, you should teach the words of God diligently to your children, all right? How you doing, brother? What's your name? Josiah. Okay, that's a righteous name, bro. What's your nationality? Uh, it's hard to say exactly, but some people, uh, my dad's side, uh, Norwegian, 
Norwegian. And then um, on my mom's side, it's a uh, little, I think it's like a little bit German, but there's a little Okay, there's some, all right. There's some, um, well, listen, listen, just listen to the Bible. Yeah, listen to the Bible, all right? So uh, we're going to continue the deal. So, Tony, remember, teach your children diligently. Read on. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house. So you should talk of the Bible while you're sitting in the house. Read. And when thou walkest by the way. And when you're walking by the way. You should be quizzing your daughters and your sons when they grow up on the, the laws of God. Hey, what's going on with that person? What are they missing? All right, because we must be diligent to the word of God. We must show our people the words of God. All right. Officer Amos, go ahead and break out the uh, the uh, canopy real quick. All right. So um, let's get some more of these words. Hey, Tony, don't don't come uh, come back around. Two more minutes. Two more minutes. Let me show you something real quick. Let's get Numbers chapter 15 and verse 38. Because I see you got your daughters in dresses, all praises to the Most High. But there's something else that they're missing from their attire that every one of us, as you see all the brothers, we have something on the bottom of our shirts. All right, they got to put them on their dresses as well. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right, so it's time now to, to come in fully. All right? So... All praises. I, I know you saw it. You know, and you grabbed some flyers. All praises. Listen to this. So read that. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel, and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations, uh -huh. and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Uh -huh. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, that ye may look upon it, and remember all the commandments of the Lord. So that's the importance of putting that fringe on. All right, so as you and your, your wife have conversations, make sure y'all are starting to put forth those actions, all right? The little by little, as y'all start to know more and more, y'all are putting forth those actions in order to. All praises, bro, all praises. So you got our, our contact information on the back of that flyer, all right? Get in contact with us. Israel United in Christ, IUIC, Minneapolis. Look at us. Hey, come convocate, bro. You got to start convocating as well. Knowing is not enough. All right, actions are ways. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.